Hello Gemini, this is your June 2020 monthly tarot reading. First of all, I will burn some bay leaf to cleanse the air around here. So, smudging the area a little bit. Beautiful. So Gemini, let's start shuffling. Angel Spirits Guides, is there anything Gemini needs to know for June 2020, please? June 2020 for Gemini, please. Okay, one. June 2020 for Gemini, please. Okay. Anything else Gemini needs to know for June 2020, please? Thank you. Is there anything else Gemini needs to know? I guess that's it. Good. And then let's take the angel deck. Angel spirits, guys. Please let us know what Gemini needs to know for June 2020, please. What is important for Gemini for June 2020, please. Okay, thank you very much. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Okay, then let's ask the money cards. So, Angel Spirits Guides, is there anything that Gemini needs to know for the month of June 2020, please? Okay, we got it, thank you. And a little affirmation card. Is there any affirmation for Gemini for June 2020, please? Okay, thank you. So, now that we are done shuffling, I will show you what your spread was looking like. And now we're gonna go right into your interpretation. <laughs> So Gemini, here is your interpretation for June 2020. First of all, you've got the Hermit. So the Hermit is talking about an energy of spiritual solitude. You might go into a solitary retreat, a spiritual retreat, a sanctuary. Um, it's also talking about um, universal wisdom and the mysteries of the cosmos so either you are teaching the mysteries of the cosmos to someone or someone is teaching you or a situation is teaching you um, but the people who are receiving this information have to be ready for this information and they have to be uh, willing to listen and make the effort of going into this uh, spiritual solitude so maybe it's a time for you when you meditate a lot or you go to some kind of spiritual retreat. Then you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is someone who comes in really fast. Um, it could be, if it's not a person, it could be a time of hard decisions and a need for change, yeah? Um, if it's a person, it could be a person that talks very fast or that walks very fast. Um, it could also sim signify a lifestyle change. So maybe you quit smoking, you quit drinking, you start to eat healthier, whatever it is for you. Maybe you try to lose weight. Um, and it's also talking about a kind of warrior mentality. So maybe if you're going into a diet, then you go like, this time I can do it. So it's a little bit this warrior mentality kind of thing. Um, also, you have the moon. So the moon is, you see the water in the background, the water can be very deep, so it's talking about the unconscious, things that are unseen, that are hidden in, in, this, in, in the night, basically. Um, so things are needing some more time to come to the surface. Um, this is talking about voluntary changes, so it would fit very well if you uh, decide to really do a diet or whatever it is. Um, it's talking about that you should trust your intuition and maybe you should also listen to the messages in your dreams. 
Yeah, if you can remember what you were dreaming last night, it's good to do so. Maybe also to write it down in the morning so that you can see if there is any information in your dreams. And this is confirmed by the card, listen to your intuition. So these two cards, the moon and this angel card, they fit together very well because they are really telling you to listen to your intuition and your dreams. Um, as a positive affirmation card, you have this one. It says, I will start from a place of gentleness. That's very, very nice. So um, if you, for example, start a new diet or you want to lose weight, then please be gentle with yourself and don't force it onto yourself, okay? And please be, be um, yeah, like friendly with yourself and compassionate with yourself. Um, also, I've been drawing a money card for you. Uh, from the Esther Hicks deck and it says that life is just as good as I let it be. So things will get better if you focus on the positive, if you focus on your um, advantages rather than your disadvantages. Yeah. So this is the reading for June 2020. I hope there was some information inside for you that you could need and that is useful for you. And I'm happy about every like, subscribe and share. And I hope to see you next month. Bye.